Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures and Forex Market Preview for the rest of the week. Thursday the 4th and Friday the 5th of February 2021. As usual, we typically do not do a market preview for Fridays. I don't think this will be an exception. Uh, we can pretty much tell you what, where the week's at and what's played out by now uh, and what's left um, for Thursday and Friday in terms of economic data. There are some big numbers coming out Friday. We'll talk about that. Uh, Forex is dead overnight. It really was nothing going on. As flat as could be, value areas on the Forex pairs today are so tiny because of how bad it was. Uh, here's the ES. Oops, sorry. I've got the wrong chart up. Here's the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. You can see not much there on the session, the tiny candle. Right now we're showing uh, for uh, Thursday morning, ES down 10 and NQs down 38, but that could obviously change. In the meantime, we gapped up a little bit today, filled the gaps, and we're pretty much dead flat, as you'll see. Let's go through the majors. Crude oil up 32 cents to 56.01. Still trying to break the high of that one candle that did, I think, close right above that risk line. Let's take a look, yeah. So uh, if we go above this candle, then we will have broken that risk line from the 13 sell signal on crude oil gold. Down $13.50, S&P cash gained all of three points. And remember, we got that 13 sell signal in place there now. NASDAQ 100 ended up uh, hitting that risk line once again, exactly. Couldn't get through. And down 53.74 on the session. SOX down 64. Uh, it's an outside day down on the SOX. Biotech's down 17.26. Russell 2000 gains 8 points. The VIX loses 2.65. Trend closes at 0.68. It's a low close. Puts the 10-day moving average at 1.04. NASDAQ volume, 7.5 billion shares on the session. It's good. Um, right up there, maybe the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th highest volume day ever. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, positive. So even though the NASDAQ's down 53, plus, plus 956, way more stocks up than down on the New York plus 505 still positive Google gains 139 points earnings Apple down a dollar oh five Netflix loses eight dollars and seventy one cents Amazon down sixty seven point four seven this thing's been really flat for a long time now Tesla down eighteen point ten Facebook down forty three cents Zoom down $11.37. Goldman Sachs up $1.58. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, down $1.34. The Dow is up 36 points, which doesn't matter. Bitcoin's back to 38,000. Heading back towards the highs. Put call ratio closes at 0.537 on the day. All right. In terms of the intraday action, here's the five minute candles on the ES. And like I said, you know, yesterday we had that on uh, Tuesday, we had a gap up, pushed higher for about an hour and a half, and then just completely dead flat. Today, even though we did get a little gap up, um, you know, we filled it, made it back into the middle of the prior day's range, and then just came back up, swept the highs once, closed right in the middle, right where we opened. Nothing there, totally dead flat. NASDAQ side, a little more negative, like you said, but still, when you look at that, I mean, that's two days in a row of flatness and the and the end of Monday was really flat even though we did the big move was the gap on Tuesday we can't trade the gaps so that was uh, that was exciting all right in terms of economic data that's left here in the US for the week by the way there's a rate announcement out of the UK uh, in the morning but then challenger job cuts here in the US at 7:30 a.m. Eastern time initial and continuing jobless claims along with preliminary non-farm productivity at 8:30 factory orders at 10 natty gas at 10:30 and then when you go on to Friday, we've got uh, non-farm on the initial non-farm numbers. I'm sorry, the non-farm payable numbers along with unemployment rate. That's one of our big three each month. So we'd be half size on Forex Thursday night going to Friday. Plus we have the trade balance at the same time, which is the second of our big three every month. So two of them at the same time, uh, that would keep Forex to half size. And obviously the unemployment rate number and the non-farm can have an impact on the markets uh, going forward for that Friday. But... Again, we won't do another market preview. We've got consumer credit at 3 p.m. Friday before the close, and then we'll set everything up for next week as well. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great Thursday and Friday in trading.